What up, everybody? It's the Lord Nolly, Champagne Poppy. I'm back, and I'm bringing y'all another episode of Hyrule Warriors. And today, we're going to make our way through Farron Woods. And there's a sorceress in the woods, apparently. Um, I don't have it on hard difficulty. Um, let's get that on normal. There we go. And y'all in the comments were like, Who are you going to play as? Are you going to play as Link with his magic fire rod thing? Or are you going to play as Sheik with her harp? I will be playing as Sheik with her harp at a later point in this series. I'll guarantee you that. But for now, I always play with Link and his magic rod. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elven Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Farron Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. Yeah! Ow. Oh, that guy got hit in the nuts by that thing. Oh, what the crap was that? Oh, daggum. Who is she? Oh, she's like, look at that sexy thing. It's Link, bashing his way through all the enemies. Like, OMG, it's you! Are you the one leading these warriors? Um, like, totally. Yes, I am. You, use your magic? Where did you learn those? Like, oh, uh, well, I'm a Starbucks sorceress. I learned that from Starbucks, okay? Like, OMG, you know, the one who started the war, see ya? <gasps> oh, well, that explains it. And what does see ya want from Hyrule? Um, she, you really want to know? She mostly wants to get in bed with Link. That's about it. Well, um, I'll tell you more if you help me defend the forest. Like, totally, you, if you do that, yay. <laughs> Link's all like, I think we should help her, you know? <laughs> and then, I'll look at her run out into battle. Okay, well, it's time to fight. Alright, so we got Link with his magic rod here. So the magic rod is... In my opinion, it's like the Swiss Army knife of Gosh Diggy Darn um, um, Hyrule Warriors. Look at it. So this is the standard attack screen. Yeah, it turns into a freaking sword or spear, whatever you want to call it. So its first combo is he shoves it up in the... He throws and juggles like that. And then for his second combo, it turns into a freaking axe. This thing is freaking everything in one. But what we want to do... We got one more combo to show off, but what we want to do right now is basically we want to run all the way over here and show off his third combo. So this thing turns into a friggin' flamethrower! Is, is this weapon not cool or what? And for his strong attacks, you got this, it shoots out a tornado, and if you hold it completely, it does a burst when you see the balls um, go into each other. So what we're going to do now is rush over here, and there's a treasure chest. We got the bow and arrow. Yeah. Now we can kill those Deco Babas for sure. Ooh, crap. Ah, I didn't mean to change. My finger. I hate how my fingers. I feel like are fat. I don't know. I feel like I have fat fingers. And every time I switch between weapons in this game, I um switch between characters too while I was at it. I don't even know why. Somebody explain to me. Do I have fat fingers? Please. <laughs> do I? It, it wouldn't really bother me if I do. Um, it's whatever. You know what I mean. Alright. So, if my voice sounds kind of crappy or dying right now, I went to Holiday World yesterday, and yes, I've been going to a lot of theme parks lately. I don't know why. I went with my track team, and we had a grand old time. I don't know why I'm talking like the freaking Great Gatsby right now. Next, I just gotta call y'all Old Sport. And stuff, but we went to Holiday World. It was a lot of fun, and oh my gosh, it was like I went there once when I was very young. But all we did was the water um, park splash and safari. But I got to ride the freaking roller coasters now, and oh my gosh, I love the freaking um. What is it? It's not the. Is it the Voyage? I think it's the Voyage. I don't know. No, it's not. I forget. It's the Pilgrim Plunge thing. But we, I went and rode that. Holy crap, that was one of the... I went to Six Flags before, but Kentucky Kingdom just... I mean, Holiday World just blows um, Six Flags out of the wall. Why am I attacking these guys? Let's use a special attack right there. Yeah, this thing summons a freaking Fire Dragon, too. 
This magic rod has all the things in one. I love using the magic rod, even though it's not really the best weapon in the whole game. It's actually Link's worst weapon. Debatable. But primarily, people say it's um, Link's worst weapon he has in his arsenal. Even though Link, Link has like 20 million weapons in his arsenal. Oh, Alright, so when the Gildo does that, you shoot him with your bow and arrow. He spins around like that. And bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, this thing also turns into a freaking cannon. I forgot to mention that. Well, now now you saw that. Yep, this thing turns into a freaking cannon. Alright, don't... There we go. The magic rod just smashes through the freaking Gildo things. Because you got this amazing range. I love it. Well, I can, I'll, I'll exchange the names like Fire Rod and Magic Rod often. Just... Oh, crap! That's what happens if you get stuck in it! Gosh darn it. I missed my timing. Alright, okay, okay, die. Boom. Oh, kill him with the flamethrower. Alright, uh, let's switch to um, the Sheik. <gasps> treasure. Oh, we got treasure, man. Ow! Oh, I'm opening the treasure in the home keep. <laughs> we got a. Ocarina? I actually own an Ocarina. It looks like it's a real Ocarina, but your boy here. Cannot play music, and he has no rhythm to save his life. So right there allows th us to teleport throughout the map with the ocarina, basically. All you have to do is go up and press Y, and once it does that, and you see a green outline on it on your um, mini-map up there, that means you can teleport there anytime with the ocarina. All you gotta do is play a little song, and bada bing bada boom, you are there. So, at Holiday World... I, th I forget what it's called. I still can't remember. I think it's called Pilgrim's Plunge. It's in the Pilgrim Thanksgiving area. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, that was a fun roller coaster. It didn't hurt you, you know, throw you around. It was just fun throwing around. And then I rode the Thunderbird. Oh my gosh, freaked me out the first time I rode it. Like, I didn't expect us to go loopy loop and scoop all the way on this thing. And it looks like I was going to hit this one building. Well, oh, that, that was a blast. I rode the Raven and the Legend. Oh, it is called the Voyage. Well, I rode the Raven and the Legend. And I didn't care for um, the both of them. The freaking Legend hurts. That thing shakes you around. You there, you cannot hang on. You gotta keep your hands up the whole time, basically. and To make it where the freaking roller coaster don't beat you up. Because I feel like right now, I feel like I just got into a fight with a freaking roller coaster. And I okay, okay, lost sucks but I had a great time all right ow come on Sheik why you do that oh no 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 eat this eat this typhoon looking thing boom baby electricity and slash slicing and dicing and play a little song on the harp and bada bing bada boom let's use your special Sheik show it off you know we're not going to show you we're going to play with you but we'll show you in depth in a later episode show off all your cool mechanic and stuff and that thing's burning. Well, only you can prevent forest fires, I guess. I don't even know. That's what Smokey Bear says. Or you hear at Birmingham Forest. Well, I haven't been to Birmingham Forest in years since I was younger. Oh, go Skechula. All right, it's over here, guys. Oh crap! No, freaking fat fingers! Screw my fat fingers! You know they're not that fat. I just, I don't know. I don't even know. All right. Oh, we can play as Impa, but screw her. Alright. I'm gonna stick with Link, homeboy. Alright, what's Wizard Warrant? Why don't you? You can't let the Dago Tree burn! What are we supposed to do? Other than go get Starbucks right now! Wait a minute! I can feel a pressure! the Great Fairy! She, maybe she can help us! Alright, let's go to the Great Fairy then, because Navi wants us to go there. Man, that voice. You know how vo like some voice impressions hurt your throat? Freaking Navi hurts my or proxy Navi, whatever you want to call it. Um, the fairy voice, I guess. I don't know. We haven't much played any other Zelda games other than this one. <laughs> this is a spin-off. <laughs> Why am I playing a spin-off game before I play an actual Zelda? I don't even know. Come on, let me through. Oh, looks like we gotta take down the Gildos before we can. Okay, okay, go in. Oh, never, never mind. Okay, we're good. So sometimes, I don't even know. And no, I just played this mission like ten minutes ago. Alright. Oh, the great big titted fairy. Hear my call. I need you to kill them all. 
somehow with your your sexiness. Please do it. I don't know what she's gonna do. Sh -sh 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 and with all the great fairies combined together, and they spread apart, grabbing clouds. I don't. Why? Why didn't they just take the whole freaking cloud? I don't think that works like that. I don't think you can put freaking clouds together and make a rain cloud or, and have it rain and stuff. And no way it puts out a fire that fast. I don't know. It has to be like like pouring straight down water or something. I don't even know. There we go. We got that mission success. Sweet swizzly dang. All right. Let's go kill all these gildos. They said, I sound like I'm saying dildo. All right. Ah, no, 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 no! Crap! I got frozen. No, no, no. Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away from now. All right. Let's K. Okay. Um, divide and conquer, baby. Divide and conquer. All right. Um, you take on that gildo, and um, we'll take on these gildos. All right, and we'll take this keep too while we're at it. K. Okay. Ask you requested. All right. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. Get that bow in there already. Oh, crap, I have bombs? What? I thought I had my bow. Oh, that's stupid. All right, let's get the dragon out. Uh, so, no, somebody's going to be like, oh, he's talking about his penis. <laughs> but no. No, I'm not. That's for another time. All right, I'm done, Mr. Gildos. Ah, oh, crap. No, 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 crap. I keep getting freaking stuck. Why do that? I freaking hate the Kildo freaking things are so freaking annoying. Why am I having so much trouble with them? Even though I've been making my way through the adventure. My maps! Oh my gosh! Freaking die. Die! Yes. Haha. -ha. Sh -sh 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 -ah. Alright, Link. You okay, okay. Kill that one. No, not the highway thing. The Gildo. And let's KOK okay, switch. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with you, Sheik. After I take this, there we go. All right. So, so um, I like Holiday World more than Kentucky Kingdom. It used to be called Six Flags. I remember as a kid, it was so much better as a kid because it was amazing when I was younger. I don't know if it was childhood nostalgia, but they got rid of most of the good rides, and everybody's like, "Oh, they got that cool like a few new roller coasters." I'm like, "Who cares about dumb old roller coasters?" When they got rid of all the good rides, everybody liked. And love and stuff. All right, let's okay, okay, make our way up here. Then we'll take out that last gildo, and we'll take on um Wizrobe. Okay, okay, end this freaking life, I mean this pathetic life. Let's do this. Fire time, baby. K okay, bye to the K okay. Hi, ha. All right, there we go. We're taking them down. There we go. Another one bites the dust. There we go. There's you. Oh, I'm taking your friend out here first. Because you guys are freaking annoying me. Well, yeah, let's collect those materials. And right there, we defeat the keep boss. Yep, just like I thought. Treasure chest, baby. And who's it for? I can't remember. Oh, it's Impus. All right, Impa, come up here. Get your treasure chest at North Square. Okay, okay. All right, Gildo man. Okay, okay. Time for you to hit, kick the bucket. I meant to use the freaking axe there. All right, there we go. We completed the mission there. We defeated all the gildos. All right, let's take you down, Wizrobe, you pathetic-looking thing. Eat the fire tornado. I miss. How did I miss? What the crap? Yo, Wizrobe, you're a pushover. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, what? He he disappeared. Yay! Where the crap is he now? K O K, come back, man. K O K, come back so I can beat you up. No, ah, the Wizrobe got away. Oh, it freaking hurts my voice. I screamed when I went th Thunderbird. I screamed like a little sissy. I I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it at all. Oh, new big boss guy. So this is uh, a scorpion eye thing. You may remember him from Twilight Princess. It is Govaha. Yay. From the. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It was. It's the one where you. The dungeon where you get the Dominion Rod. This guy's the boss. And you would kill him. Oh, yeah, we got the Light Heroes. There we go. K O K burn. La 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 la. Let's use the magic meter now. Because we haven't showed that off. And a K O K jump back. 
Okay, okay, press A. So this is the magic attack. Shishishasha. Eat, eat crap, man. I know. I keep my troops nice and healthy. I'm not gonna lie. Time to stab you in the eye. This thing is a spear too. This thing is everything. I swear. The freaking um, KOK uh, magic rods, a Swiss Army knife. Oh, he he disappeared. Oh no, he jumped in the air. There he is. All right, man. How hey, you like me now? Oh crap, he's disappearing. No, oh, he's now at home base. Well, uh, look at this. I got me a trusty ocarina. Let's show this thing off. It does a little song there. And oh, we only have one location to transport. Bada bing, bada boom. We're here, Domaha. Oh, I gotta get my bow and arrow. That's a potion. There we go. We got my bow and arrow. Is and eat that. All right, come on, come at me. Oh no, 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 no. You quit that. All right, come on, shoot your laser at me. Look at me. I'm wide open. No, not your acid. Your lasers. Those are two different freaking thing. We're not trying to trip. Even though, um, acid's like a little tablet-looking piece of paper thing. If I'm right, somebody's gonna be like, "No, it's not." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know." I have never seen acid in real life before. I've seen pictures, but never seen it. I heard one. My teacher told us a story about like one of his do it. He found one of his students doing it in his um, bat work, bat work bathroom, in his um, classroom. Oh, there we go. K O K die. Ah, super easy. All right, you're dead, man. Eat crap and die. Stab you in the eye. Eye for an eye, but. You didn't hurt me at all, but you just caused me a lot of trouble, and you now you're dead. How you like me now? Now I'm on my way. I think that's like my favorite song right now. Amazing! We took that damage thing! Yes, yes we did, Proxy. Like, OMG, great job everybody, but that's a solid win for us. Yay! Starbucks for everybody, but it's mostly me, I get to drink it all. Well, we didn't find Zelda here like we want to. I hope Zelda would be here. Apparently, there's hope was in vain. I can't speak either. Like, OMG, did you know I have healing powers also? Where could she be? Is she safe? May the goddess protect her. <laughs> Link's thinking about his girl. He's like, mm mm mm, I miss that booty. And I was like, I'll be your new booty. For generations, Hyruleans have told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Deep in the forests, far from mortal eyes, a great sorceress watched over the balance of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages, able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. The soul of the hero of legend, eternally reborn when Hyrule's need is greatest. Through her powers, the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. And while the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness, locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. The whispering darkness wormed its way into her heart. It pushed the light away and warped her curiosity into a desperate desire to possess the legendary hero's soul. Of course, this evil had its own desires. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself and conquer Hyrule once again. Having pushed the light from her heart, 
The darkness compelled her to open the gate of souls, the doorway of time itself. Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate, bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. Well, we cleared that. Oh crap! Uh, skipped over the road, so it's well. You can go back and um, look at it. All right, we got some cool new weapons there, and basically this whole game is a freaking love triangle story. Straight up the bat, love triangle, man. Mm mm mm. You never love triangles are bad. Don't get involved in love triangles. You collected three illustration pieces. Yeah. All right, sweet. We got a lot K O K done in this episode. And now we unlock the Linkle story, which we will not be playing, because in the next episode, we will be going to the Valleys of the Seers, and we'll be seeing the Sorcerer of the Valley, and we're going to play as our favorite Starbucks girl herself, Lana, the beautiful Lana, with her book of sorcery. So, thank you all so much for watching today's episode, and I'll catch you all later, and y'all just stay hot, guys, and peace out, girls, scouts, and bye!